Psalm 22. We're going to close with Psalm 22. Look at verse number 10. The Bible says, I was cast upon thee from the womb. Thou art my God from my mother's belly. Be not far from me, for trouble is near, for there is none to help. Many bulls have compassed me. Strong bulls of Bashan have beset me round. They gaped upon me with their mouths as a ravening and a roaring lion. I am poured out like water. And all my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax. It is melted in the midst of my bowels. Here we get an insight to what Jesus was experiencing on the cross. And we'll, we'll, it's proved as we keep reading this. You'll see all of the prophecies that were fulfilled. The New Testament talks about this as well. All of his boy, bones are out of joint. I mean, think about him hanging up on that cross and just the weight and everything bearing down and having the pain of the nails in his hands, his joints, his, his joints all being out of joint, his bones just, just being pulled. And that stress, my heart is like wax. What do you mean? It's melting. He's losing strength. He's losing everything. His, his heart is just melting within him. Verse 15, my strength is dried up like a potsherd. Think about like a clay pot. Like it's just, there's, no, there's no water in there. It's just dry. So my strength is just dried up. He's losing all strength. My tongue cleaveth to my jaws. He's so thirsty. I mean, all of these little details, any one of these by themselves is pretty bad. And we've all probably experienced certain things. Of one, you know, maybe you've had a joint out of socket, a joint. Maybe you've had an extremely dry mouth because you weren't able to drink for a while, whatever, and, and your, your tongue kind of swells up and you almost are choking because it's so sticky inside of your mouth that you just can't, you, 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 you can't breathe practically. And you're so thirsty, you give anything just for a drink. Your heart, his heart's melting in him, strength dried up, mouth cleaving to his jaws, and thou hast brought me into the dust of death. For dogs have compassed me. The assembly of the wicked have enclosed me. They pierced my hands and my feet. Obviously, talking about Jesus Christ on the cross. Verse 17, I may tell all my bones. That word tell means he's able to count them. Like a bank teller counts money. He says, I'm able to tell all my bones. How can you tell all your bones? Why? Because he's up there and he could literally see his bones. He's been scourged. The Bible says they look and stare upon me. In other places, it talks about the way that Jesus was whipped and scourged and how he's bleeding. They actually literally cut through his skin and his flesh to where he was able to see his bones. I mean, he was beaten. The Bible says that his visage, his face was marred more than any man. I mean, he was beaten up. So bad, it's just like he was a bloody mess. They whipped him. They put the crown of thorns on his head. They smacked him with a reed on top of the head. They put a, they put a, a bag over his head and hit him. And they're like, oh, yeah, who, 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 uh, who hit you? Prophesy unto us. Mocking him and ridiculing him, spitting on him. This is the Son of God. This is the Son of God who did no wrong. He did no wrong to any of these people, to anybody. He only did good. He healed people. He gave his life, the ransom, all of what he did. When it boils down, it was for you. Individually, it was for you. He suffered and endured all of that for you. Verse 18, they part my garments among them and cast lots upon my vesture. But be not thou far from me, O Lord. O my strength, haste thee to help me. Deliver my soul from the sword, my darling from the power of the dog. Save me from the lion's mouth, for thou hast heard me from the horns of the unicorns. And we can go on literally and read, and I recommend you doing this. It's going to be a little bit shorter sermon this morning because there's just too much content for me to go over um, in one sermon. Read through the Gospels. Read through the, 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 what Jesus went through on the cross. A lot of things I just mentioned goes into more detail. 
the price that was paid for you, that, that gift that was bought for you to be, to have eternal life, for you to go to heaven, it didn't just stop with all of the physical things that happened when Jesus Christ was crucified on the cross. We're going to get into this more tonight, but when, when he said it is finished on the cross, it wasn't everything that was needed to be done for our salvation was not done on the cross. If that were the case, then what about the resurrection? Jesus needed to rise again from the dead to, to also, as part of the gospel, as so part of the, the payment for our sins, he needed to not only be crucified on the cross, but he also had to rise again from the dead three days later, but he also had to pay for our sins more than just being whipped and nailed to the cross. The Bible says his soul went to hell. 